Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So, um, I've, well, I, I, you know, I've lost myself. I was that busy watching that new video. I don't even know what I'm going to say anymore. <laughs> so, first of all, let's say hi, Simon. <laughs> hi, Carol. <laughs> hi, John. Hello, hi. So, would you believe it? Twice in a week now, because you were here last week, weren't you, John? When was you here last Nine week? Nine days. Nine days it since you were here. It was Saturday. <sighs> and now, I'm he's here again. And he's, he's going to be again with us next week in one of the classes doing comments as well. So we've got John here tonight because Karen has been doing a class all day today. And she, you know what, God bless her, she offered to come back in and do comments. But I said, no, John can do it. <laughs> so what was the class today? So let's have a look at these beauties. Who was on this class? So Rachel Hannah did an introduction to wedding cakes today. And it was all about buttercream. It was all about wedding cakes. It was all about costings, pricing. It was all about putting it together, how you deal with your customers. It was everything. And apparently it was amazing. I didn't get a chance to watch it. I was down at the warehouse today. Um, but Karen and the feedback that I've seen so far is that everyone just absolutely loved it. So this was the free tier. She did two wedding cakes in the class and they're real cake as well. So we're going to donate these. So I've actually sent out text messages to the people I donate to and ask them which ones that they want. Probably be a scrap over this one, I should imagine. But this is a free tier, all cake, look. That's what you call a naked cake. These are real flowers as well. She shows you how to put them in, okay? So John, let us know what the feedback is, love. Oh, very so, positive, we've got a lot of people here. We've got over 260 people have joined us already. Fantastic. And we've also got some comments coming in on the class and how great it was yeah it was fantastic wasn't it i did keep popping in and having a little look but seriously i only had minutes at a time just to have a little nosy see how you were all doing but it was a great class now this class is yours forever so if you bought it and you joined today's class it's yours forever now those people who didn't manage to join today but they paid for the class it's there it's in the units i've not actually put it into the guides uh, sorry it's in announcements i've not managed to put it into guides now some of you have all all of you have been used to the word units but Facebook has now changed it to guides so when I get a chance I won't be able to do it for a few days but when I get a chance I'll go back into it and save it to the guides okay um, and then you've got it forever then to refer back to so Rachel did this class and then sorry there's that Lincoln having a stretch we got Lincoln in the kitchen with John what's he doing okay. <laughs> so, did you hear that noise then <laughs> He's on his bed, I think he's having a stretch. Is he having a stretch? Right. So, and then she did this class as well. And then she showed you how to just make this lovely buttercream effect here. So isn't that fabulous? She didn't do anything else on top because like that, you could put your own wedding cake topper on. But, you know, really nice, simple, easy effect. So um, I'm going to put these back in the fridge now because I need to get on with my own live. And because John's on comments, he told me I need to make it quick. Now, I can't be as fast as cake flicks because I nearly freaking killed myself when I did no, that. No, you're going to be two hours and just accept it, John. <laughs> I don't see why you should get special treatment. Do you, Simon? <laughs> I'm not expecting anything. <laughs> he um, is. I got the lecture. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have to say hello to our YouTubers. Hello, so YouTubers. I, Jill Cook, Patricia Gaffney, Babs Palmer. And I've also got a question, please, Carol, well, about the cake class, the wedding cake class. Yeah. How much is it and is it a course of different things? I think you'd be best able to explain that better than me. So, how much is it? Yes, and is it a course of different things? But it's not no. A course, it's a so, it's a, it's a one class. It? It's an all-day class. It's forty pound for the class, and you just learn how to do these two cakes in it. Okay, so it's all about buttercream, all about stacking, putting it together, getting your sharp edges. Um, it's, ever, it's everything in there. She really pretty much covered everything. So if you read the comments on Facebook, I'm sure the ladies will confirm with me how great this class was. She is going to do another class, okay? So I think she's going to do three in total. So I think she's going to do the next one with sugar paste and then she's going to do an advance. So, um, so there will be a series of three, but they're not in this £40 class, okay? This is just a one-off class. But you know what? It's, it's amazing. You'll, this will be the best £40 you've ever spent. And it's yours forever. You just go back to it time and time again. So I'm going to put this in the fridge as well because I want to get it out of the way. So They're so I, heavy. I spotted a comment to say, were you good yesterday and not working? Yes, you were. I were. 
You were. Well done. I, yeah. think, it was, I think it was Kathy was asking. Yeah, we ended so. up. We've got an old man that we look after, so um, I went and chopped his hair for, off, off him for him on Friday because it was way past his shoulders, so I went and uh, did that for him. Well, so, well, he lives on his own, and I've been looking after him for a long time. So I went and did that, and then we went and then we went and dropped off two chairs for him yesterday, two wing back chairs. But um, so that was our day yesterday, and then I sat on the sofa and did nothing all day. I had a little sneaky peek at Facebook just to see what was going on. Um, but um, let me just get this in the fridge, anyhow. Yeah. So Sam, can you just open the fridge, please? Oh, this way it's up. Yeah, lots of positive comments about the class today, so thank you very much everybody who's putting their feedback in. Much appreciated. I've been a dad hammer at cutting hair. Have you not seen John's? <laughs> he was scared at first, but I know he's got used to it now. It's quite nice. Look actually, isn't it, John? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've resigned myself to number three all over, yeah. but it was it We're was to get some sides, it, didn't it, we? It, it was a bit it was a bit better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, let me just see, I need a, need a little map on, under here a minute, just one second. Ooh, so we've got lots of classes coming up, so if you want to book that class, you can still book it, you'll be able to book it all year. Um, so that's going to be there forever. Um, classes coming up, so Monday you've got Jerry Chu in for the Princess Cake, which is here. Let's just move that out of the way. I think, I think people are asking to see my haircut, but... Um, oh, no, he needs it doing again, now. I don't think so. No, he can't see it now. He needs it doing again. He's got a curly bob at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I'm staying firmly behind the camera. And you won't get him in front of the camera, anyhow. I know I managed to sneakily get him in the other day, and he was mortified. So, on Cape Flicks, was it on Cape Flicks I managed to get you in, John? Yes. So yeah. it wasn't too chuffed. He'd just come back from the warehouse and he just he said he was doing the comments for me. And I did a bit of sneaky, but that was a deliberate sneaky. He didn't know. Anyhow, so... When got... did you find out? What, that he was in there? No, when did you find out that it was a sneaky trick? When I got him here, because I moved out the way for him to put the cake on here. He thought he was going to pass me the cake from there. <laughs> but I didn't. I legged it down here and he had to come in front of the camera and put it on the stand. So um, Monday we've got Jerry Chew in with her princess cake. Now it's going to be a fabulous class. All our classes are fantastic. So um, all of you did the facial expressions. I know lots of you are wanting to get on that one. I've not put the limbs and bodies class on yet. I'm trying to fill up classes. So once we've got that one out of the way. And then Wednesday we've got Claire Corbett with her royal iced biscuits. Now that's an amazing class. So we need to get that one booked up. So that one's on next week. So we need, that's next Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? No, a week on Wednesday. No, a week this Wednesday, the 24th. So it's a week this Wednesday. So uh, we need to get that one filled up, girls. She did put our request about what did you want to learn? And those are the two things you asked for. You asked for Royal Ice Biscuits and you asked for Couture Wedding Cakes. So she's put them both on. So I do hope that after you've joined all her other classes and um, you've asked her exactly what, what you would like, like to, I hope that you uh, join her because Claire is fabulous in the kitchen, as all our tutors are. So what are we making today? Well, on Cape Flicks, I very, very, very quickly showed you how to use Trex with whipping it up, okay? So we're going to go through that again, and then we're going to paint it with our new Wonder Dust. Now, if you want the Wonder Dust, they've nearly sold out. Isn't that amazing? So uh, we're really pleased. So John's had to put in another order today for them to get stocked up. How long do you think it'll take, John, before we get them? <laughs> I don't know. Months. Eh? <laughs> it took us a month last time. Was it a month last time? Well, three, three weeks. Three to four yeah. weeks, yes. Yeah. So if you want what's left, you need to grab them ASAP. They're on offer. We put them on an introductory offer because we had no labelling for them. So we had to make some man-made labelling for them. But all the next ones will have all the proper labels on. Yeah? Man-made labels. I.e. we had to type them up in the office. <laughs> Other than natural labels. <laughs> <laughs> well, pre printed labels. Oh, okay. We had to type them up in the office and stick them on. I I'm in a funny mood. You're in a funny mood. You know what I mean, anyhow. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, everybody says they're going to be on their best behaviour tonight. Yes, well, well he's watching comments. There is, there, yeah. is, there is a mention. There's going to be no mention of Donegal Villages with some aqua clubs. Absolutely. <laughs> Except there. <laughs> Except, except, uh, except that one. Except yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we've got nearly 400 people. Right, good. Okay. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put three cakes together. And I've started on doing this cake, but I suppose the best thing I should do is show you how to make it, shouldn't I? So I saw lots of you wanting to make really white buttercream. Now you can add whitener, okay? Um, you can add whitener, you can use the um, Sugar Flare Extra White. They've got a Super White, uh, which we sell. We've got other whitening products. And then you can use this product called Trex. Now I've got to be honest, when I watched this years ago myself, I thought, Trex. Well, we're not using that, that's lard. But it isn't lard, it's actually vegetable fat. So um, it's, you're fine to eat it, okay? Um, so it's white in colour, and I think Simon has just got the camera on there. We've got a few questions about um, availability of products. White calibre. It'll all be in stock tomorrow. All the colour will be in stock tomorrow. I just didn't get a chance to update the website tonight. Because I finished work at 5 o'clock and I actually finished work at 25 past 5 on Saturday. And then I didn't sit back down to the computer till today. And I'm well behind, if I'm honest. I'm really well behind. So um, so it will be back in stock tomorrow morning. I'll and make sure game, it's in. Uh, and the game controller chocolate mould. Right, the chocolate mould that I'm expecting the game controller. Oh gosh, I've just put some chocolate moulds in stock that are arriving tomorrow. So there's two spears. So those who want spears, there's two of those in. The Geo Rabbit's in stock. So that's in. And some of you wanted the Happy Birthday bar and I Love You bar. That's back in stock as well. Uh, the two bars are on special offer as well. So I'll put those in. And um, the, the game controller, I can't remember. She said there's some stock coming in that I've reserved for the 19th. That's when she's expecting it. So I should get it about the 21st, 22nd. I can't remember what I've ordered. I know the Geo Hearts are there and a few other things, can't remember. It's a long day, you know, I've had a really long day. Right, so Trex. So you can buy this from supermarkets, okay? I don't actually know how much it is, but it's white in colour. And to be fair, it's what's used in all supermarket cakes. So when you see um, buttercream that's really, 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 really white, it's just this stuff, okay? You've been eating it for years without knowing about it. So let's get that out of the way. Right in my hands. There's Margaret saying she's in so many classes, she needs to check which one she's on. Yeah. I think, Margaret, <laughs> we've got a few people in that camp. Yeah, and I was talking to a lady last night, you know, when I wasn't meant to be answering the phone. So I was talking to a lady last night because I put in all the links to all the classes, but that was an update in January, so I haven't put all the links to the new classes, but I will get that done. I think I might make that Saturday's job. Right, so in here, we're going to start off with 250 grams of Trex. Now, I beat the living daylights out of this, okay, so it doesn't take long to beat. Can you see that on the camera there, Simon? Um, not really. No. Nope. Put it on the overhead. Okay. You see it there? And that's lovely and white. Yeah? So then what we're going to do now is we're going to use the whipping it up. And the reason we're going to use the whipping it up because you can use butter, okay? Uh, sorry, you can use the flavoured icing sugar, but we're going to make the Swiss meringue version. So this one's really very, very light. Okay? Right, well, we've got Harrison watching. Oh, is he? Did he see, is it our Harrison? Mm -hmm. Did he see himself on the video? I don't know. Laura, did he see himself on the video? We've got Jasmine and Ruby on. Laura's not there, it's Harrison for the message on. Is it? Why has he got his own Facebook page? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not at three years of age. So we are going to put in 250 grams of the whipping it up. So 250 grams of Trex, 250 grams of whipping it up. Oh. Abita says she's having some problems when she puts things in her basket and leaves them and when she goes back they're, they've all been taken out. Right, okay, so can I just um, tell you a few things, okay. Um, we have actually been um, spammed by some not so nice people in some, in some countries and unfortunately we've been spammed with credit card fraud. So what that actually means is is that there's been people here in the UK or wherever else in the world have used stolen credit cards on our account and um, bought stuff. They've had it all shipped to a container in Southampton 
and um, on top of that that container is now shipping out all stolen stuff I should imagine from everywhere because I can imagine we're not the only ones who've been spammed so we've lost quite a lot of money we found out over the last week which has been quite upsetting then a few other things have happened to our site so today I've worked with the um, credit card security I put that much security on the site you need to be very careful when you're ordering so you need to make sure that you put your address on exactly how it should be spelled as your bank has it your postcode needs to be right and I've also put a limited amount of credit cards that were taken and um, a few other security measures in place and to be fair it will reject all right so we've done loads of tests I, I today i think that's going to be just making no i know comment relates to i know and but I, I've some, done... pe some people have a, a answered her to say that if you sign in before you, you add to your basket then you shouldn't have a problem yeah but what i was going to say is we have had that problem and because i've put in loads of security checks i wouldn't be surprised if i've ended up mucking up another feature because I've been through every feature on the website today so there is a there is an automatic basket basket with a timer on it so I could have accidentally touched it I may not it could be like what these ladies are saying here log in first put everything in your basket and then it'll save it for you yeah but it does only have a certain timer for saving because if you, some people what was happening when we first got the website we were allowing people to save and then the thing was it was showing things that were out of stock and we weren't actually out of stock and then the people didn't check out their baskets so we've got like baskets here there and everywhere that people just threw stuff in but never bothered to check out but then those people here who wanted to buy that stuff and couldn't buy it so we put a timer on it so i could have messed that up I might not have but i could have um, so I've got 250 grams of whipping it, whipping it up in here, 250 grams of Trex, and I'm also going to weigh 135 mils, all grams of tepid water. So what have I done with my water? So Sue Mary said she's had too many courses as well. Yes, <laughs> yes she has. Sue's been with us such a long time. Um, Sue has even stayed here with us when things were normal. So she's been to classes here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And stayed here as well, yeah. I think you've done nearly every course, haven't you, Sue? Harrison should be in bed, but he's watching for 10 minutes. And he's writing this down, is he? Our clever three-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just doing 135 mils of tepid water. And there's a question, um, is Dill Griffin's class? The Mother's on... Day class, yes, it's on the website. There's loads of classes on the website. So if you go to the website and go to all classes, they're all there. Or you can go to the recorded ones, the ones that have actually happened and they're now in the recorded. And there's the ones that are called coming up, which are the new coming up classes. So there's different sections. So well, let's get this back on the mixer. Okay. And this tastes equally delicious. So we're just going to turn it on slowly. And then we're going to start trickling in our water. Okay. So we're making the Swiss meringue version today. Let me put my glasses back on. I'm so hot. And I don't even know what our cake's gonna look like. Okay, I've been at work all day today and I flew home. I got home for, I think, quarter to six. Threw my tea down in it. I updated some stock. I've come in here and basically I'm throwing the cake together for you now. <laughs> Simon said, what we're we making? I said, uh, we're decorating the cake, we're whipping it up, Simon. So I've got an idea of what I want to do. So just trickling in the water, but my main thing was to show you how to make beautiful white buttercream. Now there's no point making this if you're going to colour it, okay? If you're going to colour it, just use normal butter, alright? But if you're going to, if you just want the white buttercream, yeah, that's all you want, then do this. Oh, Sue so mentioned there's some typos in our video. There's what? Some typos in our video, we'll have to watch it again. Is there? So, well, we did have the video and there uh, was a typo. Uh, was that did, this morning? Sue, did you see it this morning? Because so, that, that we did yeah. pick up we did pick up on someone, yeah. so hopefully we have eliminated those yeah. for this, this So evening. Terry Terry was so chuffed of her video that she made on Friday and she had to wait several hours for it to render. So she went her, she went home on Friday, so she came in this morning, dead giddy, showed it me, well you know I can't spell. So um, I didn't notice it, showed it John, and John noticed the spelling. I've never seen a girl so devastated. She was like, <gasps> so she was about to do a class anyhow. I think she's had to use that video today yeah. 
in that class but I think our video tonight was fine so uh, so we're just adding the water well it must be fine because we've got the one with Harrison in it don't think Harrison was on this morning because I forgot to give her a picture of Harrison as well the wonder dust on the website there are listed as wonder dust yeah they are yeah. they have their own section they don't have their own section yet um, I'm waiting for the developers to put the section on for me so uh, so they're in a section they just you just can't see them so if you go to the search bar and type wonder dust it's there or if you go to new they're in the new section it's Paula Brown's birthday she's spending her birthday evening with us how are you so so Paula Brown's birthday so what we do on birthdays are you ready Simon happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Paula, happy birthday to you. He's dying over, he's a miserable bugger, isn't he? Yeah. So go on. I'm sorry, Paula. <laughs> That's why she told us. If I'd known that was going to happen. <laughs> so we're just still trickling in the water. Now you'll see, I don't know whether you've actually been able to see that this is really fluffing up, lovely. Saracena one kilogram point. Yeah. Have we got availability? Are we out of stock? I only filled that up last week. Crikey. Let me let you know tomorrow. So um, a couple of things. So ladies who are in the buttercream flowers. So tomorrow I'm meant to be doing buttercream flowers at two o'clock on the sugar and crumbs page. So I've got a couple of apologies to do. And the first one is last week um, Karen is so used to doing buttercream flowers. Don't forget she's done a whole year of buttercream flowers. And last week she just automatically went into autopilot, logged on to Buttercream Flowers and she did all the comments from Buttercream Flowers. And then I was watching it later on that night and I saw comments of people saying she's not shouting out my comment. And that's because you were on the Nifty Nozzles page. So Karen does apologise, but you've got to understand her job has been every Tuesday for a year now to answer comments on Buttercream Flowers. So it was automatic pilot. So and of course we were giving away Wonder Dust and... That was a shame that tomorrow uh, the, the uh, Sugar and Crumbs members um, didn't qualify for that unless they were in the Buttercream Flowers group. So I'll make that up to you on the next batch that comes in. I haven't got enough to give away now, but on the next batch that comes in, we'll do that again, I promise, yeah? Albeit I haven't asked John's permission, but we will. Are we able to deliver to Ireland? Uh, we can deliver to Northern Ireland, okay? Southern Ireland, if you want it to go to Southern Ireland, you're going to have to have it delivered to your friend's address. So if you've got a family member or something like that who's in Northern Ireland, who can then get it to Southern Ireland for you, we can do that. We've done that for a couple of ladies. So, but we can get it to Northern Ireland, no problem. It's Southern Ireland at the moment. Um, DPD aren't doing anything until the end of March. They're doing a whole backlog. So they're not taking anything for Europe. So we can get to America and Australia, no problem. We just can't get anywhere in Europe. So can you see this, how lovely, light and fluffy this is? So this is lovely white Swiss meringue buttercream, or should we call it uh, Swiss meringue frosting? Because it's got no butter in it, it's got frosting in it. Yeah. Now in America and in Australia, they call this Crisco, we call it Trex. Yeah. Oh, Debbie's telling us now where the spelling mistake in the Valentine's one. The oh, word, did we? The word wondrous. Was it? <laughs> Who's thought that? That was uh, Terry's fault as well, wasn't it? And you didn't spot that, John. And you didn't spot it, Simon. No good asking me, I can't spell. At least I can admit it. <laughs> Never watched it. Yeah, you it's just played busy it. When it's on. <laughs> I don't remember seeing the word wondrous on there, but yeah. it obviously yes, was. No, it is, uh... But well spotted. And, and if you do see it, yes, please let us know. Yeah, let us know in advance. Yeah. You're going to be devastated tomorrow, Terry. Oh, anyway, John, so can we have some positives yeah, about it? In. So can we have some positives about it? What do you think of the video? <laughs> <laughs> Stop being negative. No, no. To be fair, we've had lots of nice comments. Yeah, good. So. Right, okay. So I'm just going to put some jam on. So at the moment, I'm just going to use this as a thin coat and then I'm going to thicken it up, okay? So I'm just going to put my jam on. And I've just realised I forgot something. 
This is my thicker version. So, need to stick the cake to the board, don't I? Oh, let's see, is that central? Oh, everybody's coming in now with what's on. There's a part of an error on our Battenberg recipe. Oh, is it? That's a Battenberg recipe. That's Karen's. I think we've been told about that and I haven't told Karen about it yet. But thank you, Angie. Yeah. Message um, Karen Griffiths. She did that one. Mm -hmm. Ollie's class on the 8th of March. Will there be a list of products so that they can work alongside Ollie? Um, do you know that's a good idea? I would probably say that the only thing that you need is chocolate. Uh, chocolate and um, chocolate and cream. I would say that's all you need for that day. Well, I think we need to put a list together then, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Because everything you don't need molds. He's going to use some molds, but you don't need any. So, and if you want to decorate a cake, you could get your cake crumb coated. So, because uh, we're going to show you how to use acetate for your chocolate. We're going to make some ribbons, going to make some curls. So Karen's been baking for me. She's such a good baker, is Karen. She can't spell like me. <laughs> Same. Ooh, that's Can Karen not spell either? No. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Listen, we both went to the same... No, actually, I don't think we did go to the same school. We're both secondary mod girls, me and her. We're not clever clogs like you two. Okay. Well, we've got Miss Sidbury in from San Jose, California. Oh, wow. hello. Hello. So we're going to make a tall cake. Okay. I'm not quite sure how I'm decorating this yet. quite decided so uh, the whipping it up here now made it really light and fluffy tastes delicious this so what does it taste like with traps it tastes like all those cakes that you've been eating for years you know when you buy Swiss roll from the uh, shop and that white cream that's in it, it tastes like that the Caterpillar cake from Marks and Spencers. All your cakes from the supermarkets. Costco. There you go. Right, going to be a big cake, this girls. Right, we get a piping bag. Right, well, we've got a, note, a lot of people watching. 471 yeah. people. So Ooh, thank you very much good. for everyone for yeah. joining us. The feed is flying, so apologies if I miss any comments. because That's why people have tuned in, John, because you're here. No. What, to, what to miss their comments? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling about, I'm feeling a bit slow and behind at the moment. So we're using our new piping bags. They're not on the website yet, but I'm, and these are perfect for Jolly's class. So those who are doing chocolate, so these are like our normal piping bags, but these are thinner, okay? Um, and we've got these in so that lots of you asked about bags for Ollie and these are perfect. I've not put them on the website yet, but they will go on under Sugar and Crumbs brand. So these have just arrived in and there's a hundred in a pack. But for those in the chocolate class, you want thin bags, not the thick bags. We've got these in for you. Right. Okay. I like using small bags all the time. So no, so I have to keep refilling. So I know lots of you like using the big bags, but I always use small. Oh. Nina has a sound we've got knuckle wraps in school if our spellings were wrong. Mm, not allowed to do that these days, are they? No. Not to employ you. <laughs> so, or school. <laughs> 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 Is there a recipe for those sponges online? Yeah, they're Karen's uh, sponges. She'll tell you where they are. So tomorrow, I'm not going to be doing the live in buttercream flowers tomorrow. Um, and the reason is, because I didn't work all weekend, I'm so behind. And the other thing is, we're under so much pressure at work at the moment. Um, I've got to go into work tomorrow. So I've been there today, I'm going to be there tomorrow, and I'm going to be there all day Wednesday. 
So Karen is going to do the live tomorrow in buttercream flowers. And she is going to, I'll show you what she's going to use. So she's got um, a chocolate egg, chocolate rabbit. So it's not the BWB moulds. She's going to use the cake star moulds because quite a few of you have bought those. So she's going to show you how to use them. She's going to dust them up with the new Wonder Dust as well. And um, I'm not sure what else she's going to make, but uh, she's got a few things. So she's going to do the live tomorrow. Are you on camera tomorrow? Is it Terry? Terry. So it'll be just her and Terry tomorrow. So I have to apologise, but I will come back to you. I think what I'll do is, um, we're meant to be closing the group tomorrow. So I think what we'll do is I'll come back and do what I'm meant to be doing next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, and then we'll close, we'll start the group in 1st of March. First week in March. Alright, so I'm going to have to make some more of this. Is that Victoria sponge or Madeira cake? Victoria sponge. Victoria sponge. We never make Madeira cake. Oops. We never make Madeira cake. We only make Madeira cake for the cakes that we're going to carve. But otherwise, we just make Victoria sponges. Well, thank you for all the nice comments. Glad to be back on comments, everyone. Who's that? <laughs> you? Yeah. Lots of comments. I've also got Michael Lewis Anderson saying, loving the Irish accent. Oh, yeah. Um, a bit of my rubbish. Got Maureen from New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. Oh, right. We've got Ginny from New Zealand as well. Oh, hello. We're having more more international people tonight. Oh, fantastic. So don't forget to like and share. So those of you who have not watched me before, if you're brand new, um, say hello. John will shout out. Let us know where you are from, whether you're from the UK or elsewhere. And don't okay. forget to like and share. And don't forget to like and share. Not into the class groups though, please. Just like and share with your friends. Yeah? So, and then you'll be in with a chance to win a prize, which we draw on Fridays. So we're up to date now with all the prizes. They were drawn last Friday. Question, do we sell the piping bags? We do, but they've only just arrived, so I'm not yeah. quite sure that they're on there at the moment. No, they're not. So we sell the um, Simply Making and the Queen of Hearts piping bags, but these are the Sugar and Crumbs piping bags, so they're a bit thinner. Okay, so they're perfect for chocolate. So I'll be giving Ollie a, bat, a box to see what he feels like about them. Okay, so anybody who's, who's watched me before knows that I can decorate in quite a unique way. Basically, I'm very much a slap it on type of person. <laughs> slap it on, let's see what's gonna happen. So um, at the moment, we've only used 250 grams of Trex, 250 grams of whipping it up, 135 mils of water, because I just want a very soft coat, yeah. When will strawberry and cappuccino chocolate be back? Back in tomorrow morning. Back tomorrow morning. I just didn't get a chance to order it today. So it's really light and fluffy this. James said the thin bags will be good for doing the royal icing cookies yes, class as be, well yeah. with Claire Corbett. Yes. And if you haven't signed up for Claire Corbett's class, do so. Those ladies who've been in her class, you all know what a wonderful tutor she is. She's been there very good with sugar and crumbs. And all through lockdown, she did the classes with you. So if you've been in there, please support her. So um, she's put on classes that you've asked her to do. So if you can do, so that class is next Wednesday. So not this Wednesday, because then Tracy Mann is on this Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. So next week, we've got a real busy week. So this is really light and fluffy. So I'm just putting this first coat on and then I'm going to get this in the fridge. Yeah. And then I'm going to make my next thicker coat. Just let me go and get my clean cloth um, wiped a minute. Oh, we've got Nick from Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Somehow I don't think he is. Oh, <laughs> Nick, is he Nick Ty? Yeah. Yeah, Geraldine's brother. You, you, won't know, you won't know what to do having two men in the kitchen, will Nick? You never know, he might be from Papua New, New Guinea. No, he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he isn't. He's winding up the ladies in here. They're all friends with him. So 
So I'm just going to put this in the freezer. So this has just got a thin fluffy coat on and then I'm just going to make a, a double coat in a minute, a thicker coat. Iris has just joined us. Hello Iris, how are you? Hi Iris. So anybody who's watched me for, before will know that I'm a very much a slap it on and see how it goes girl. Yeah, Lin, Lincoln is next to me. Yeah. I wouldn't say he's supervising, he's sleeping. But he's calm and happy, which is good. Lisa Blair says hello from Northern Ireland. Hello. Calibre flavoured chocolate, is that in tomorrow? Back in stock in the morning. We've got Jane from Scotland on the west coast. I'll try and get it back in as soon as I can in the morning, but I've had my text message from a COVID jab tomorrow, so I'm going having that done, okay? So, uh, and where it is, it's really busy for car parking, so I've got to get John to come and get me so that he can just drop me off outside. I can run in, get jabbed, he can drive around the block, come back and pick me up. Right, my buttercream, there we go. So I pre-mixed this one before, okay? So I pre-mixed this. So this is Trex, already beaten, just so that you didn't have to listen to the mixer go on for a long time. It looks, it looks like the cat in the hat. Hat. What does? I don't know. <laughs> it's I Nick from know. Papua New Guinea. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> He'll be winding everybody up. I think, she, I think he's referring to your cake. A tall cat, a tall hat. Right, so what I, so here we go on here. So we've got the tracks in here. So I need another 250 grams of whipping it up. So where is my mixer? Yes, yeah, so I was very pleased to get the uh, text message that I could go for my jab tomorrow. So Geraldine, are you, are you, are you from Papua New Guinea as well? <laughs> That's Nick's sister. She knew, she wants a, a hello from everyone as well. So yeah. hello, Geraldine. <laughs> They're the two rascals, John. Would the little roly work on the frosting? Um, it will on the thicker frosting, not on the soft one. Is there a six inch cake recipe available? I've got to be honest, I don't do the baking, Karen does. So um, she'll be able to tell you there. Right, so that's that. Right, Nick, Nick lives down the road to Alison, but she's not from Papua New Guinea. <laughs> so a, a definition of what just down the road is, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so 250 grams of text treks, another 250 grams of, so we're making a thicker version now, okay? So we put the soft, light, fluffy version in between the cakes and round it. Now we're going to make a thicker version, okay? Now just remember, this is for people who want a white cake. Now if you're just going to, if you're just, if you're going to colour your buttercream, then you know what, just use butter. But this is people who want a really white cake. That's what we're doing it for. So then, let's get that on. Let's get that incorporated. Let's get some more water. Geraldine Butland, she's having her jab tomorrow as well. How are you, Geraldine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone else is in on Saturday. Yeah, Liz Barber. Very good, well done. Well, I was very surprised to see mine. I thought, because I've not hit 60 yet, I've got another year to go. But, um, so I thought they were doing all the over 60s first. Jenny said you've got to stay for 15 minutes after you've had it. Oh, do you? All right. I think it depends which one it is. Some of them, some, one of them... You have to stay for 15 minutes and one of them you don't. Okay. Not sure where I heard that piece of useful information. Well, I don't think you know what you're getting until you get there, do you? No. Uh, depends what they've got in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. We've got Michelle from Darlington. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I don't think we're, we're, I know what I'm getting. And now we can drive around a bit longer. Right, so add the water. So just add the water slowly, don't add it fast, okay? Just add it slowly, let it incorporate. So this is going to make the very soft mixture again. And then we're going to thicken it up. So we're using the velvet vanilla whipping it up, okay? Now this is great for royal icing. So Tracy Mann has been using this in the royal icing class. Um, and I've been putting whitener in it. So I've been using cake style whitener. 
So let me show you what I've been using. So I've been using this one, okay? So let me just do that on the over top. So we sell this in five grams, and then we sell it in 25. And that's how much you get for 25 grams in that big tub. So I've just been putting a gram of that in for the royal icing. So that works well as well. Just add that as with a little bit of water. So when you add your water for your royal icing, deduct five mils of the water, add it to that, colour it, and then add it into your royal icing mix with the additional water. Don't add it as an extra. I'm told here it takes 35 minutes to get your jab. I think you need to go yourself and park off. Shut up. We're not, you're going. It doesn't say that on my text message. On my text message, it tells me not to turn up early, and um, and I think it said, I think it said ten to fifteen minutes. So I don't know. I can let you all know next time I'm on. I can let you know what happened to me, provided I haven't grown two heads in that time, or an extra arm or something. Uh. Zilla's asking about sweet stamp. Our sweet stamp delivery finally arrived it today. Arri it arrived today um, after spending three weeks in Wolverham Wolverhampton, I think. Yeah. It's been sat there for three weeks um, and it has arrived today, so yeah. we'll be getting it going in stock. It will be going soon. in stock. We're just waiting for the customs invoice bill. So I don't want to put it in yet because if the customs if the customs bill is high, then I need to look at the pricing. So I just want to see what that is. So I'm just waiting for the invoice to come through. Um, so they did. They delivered today. We've chased it and chased it and chased it. So no joy whatsoever. And this morning I woke up and there was a text message it was going to be delivered today. Oh, they were such an happy bunch. We're so pleased. We're going to deliver it today. So, uh, so we just incorporate this again. But we're going to thicken this batch up, okay? So the one I used before was a thin coat and that cake is now in the freezer. Let's get rid of that. Well, it's looking like lots of people are having their jabs. In fact, some people have even had a second one. Yay! Goody good. So, that's all good news. And yeah. It looks like people... Um, Getting done, aren't they? Jackie has visited Tesco for the first time in a year. Wow! I won't Jackie. be visiting. <laughs> John does all our shopping. <laughs> I'm going to leave it that way. <laughs> you have a man that does that. Hey? You have a man that does that. Who? You. Me, John does it all. Yeah. All the shopping, yeah. yeah. He does all the cooking as well. Yeah. And all the cleaning up after. And then I moan at him because it's not good enough. Look and he gets really miffed with me. <laughs> I've never cooked since I've met John. He's always cooked. Makes me my breakfast every morning. Cup of tea. Ask him for a coffee, I always get one. Very good, aren't you, John? Don't do any domestic, he doesn't do any DIY stuff though. I remember asking him once, he said, no, I'm not doing that. I said, why? He said, because if I'm good at it, you'll ask me again. So he does all the cooking because he enjoys cooking. <laughs> but he won't do, he won't mow the lawn, will you, John? Yeah. No. <laughs> won't decorate the house. D DIY is just, it's just heading, it's just heading for a row, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> won't decorate the house, won't help out with anything like that. Won't paint the fences. Right, so on the overhead there, can you see that, Simon? So this is the lovely soft version. So when I say soft, look. Yeah, no, Dale has just confirmed that I was right. The UK vaccine, you don't have to stay. You're in and out. Right, thank you. Thank you for I was going that. to say, it didn't say I had to. It, said, it did say, arrive on time and you'll be out within 10 minutes. But then I thought, well, I could have read it wrong. So Never. really very, very soft, eh? Never. Wow. You wouldn't no. read something wrong, would you? And then to thicken it up, we're going to add, so when you add Trex, it makes it really very, very loose for normal buttercream as well. Now you don't have to use Trex, okay? So you can use, um, sorry, you don't have to use whipping it up. You can use Trex and icing sugar. Um, but I wanted a really, really light, soft version. And the thing with the Swiss and Rhine Buttercream is it's really light and aerated and really very soft. So we're going to add in now 500 grams of normal flavoured icing sugar. So this is velvet vanilla flavoured icing sugar. Okay. And we're going to have far too much. Is the Valentine's Outboss going to be in stock? It is. 
it's all there it's all set on my desk ready for me to put in stock but i just can't put it in stock until um and i've not bought any of the i've not bought any of the mother's day um sweet stamps simply because i bought this in plenty of time for valentine's day and everything's just sitting in customs i really don't want to go through the same nightmare again um because when we used to order sweet stamps it used to be with us within three days and um, now, now that we don't know when we're going to get stuff and nobody speaks to you, I don't really want to uh, buy it until I'll buy things that I've got plenty of time to buy. So what about like Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I buy the things that are general rather than for... Um, yes, event specific. Yeah, rather for an event and then you, can't, you don't feel like you can use it for something else. Let's buy the stuff that you can use all year round. So I'm just going to put the mixer on now. 20 seconds. Just to incorporate this. Okay. That's it, it's done. This is still quite soft and this kitchen is boiling as well. So I'm just going to um, get a kitchen towel for my face and wash my hands a minute. Let's hold on a minute. Probably open it over for a bit. I was just going to say, can we do that? You hot. Well, we've got a very good audience, so thank you very much to everybody who's joined us, 441. If you haven't done already, if you can like and share this live, it would be much appreciated. Um, lots and lots of comments about the vaccine, lots of people have had it, so it sounds like that whole campaign is going well. Have you come to watch me or have you come to listen to him? Because <laughs> I know you all like listening to John. I've told him he's got to come in the kitchen a bit more often. So, uh, tomorrow on Buttercream Flowers, because I'm having to cancel my session, Karen's going to be in to do the rabbit, put them together for you, the Easter eggs, different sizes, and the small bunny rabbits. So she's going to do them for you tomorrow. So, 2 o'clock, live on the page, she'll do them. Right, let's get my cake back out. Feels quite loose this. I think I might put this in the fridge for a minute to firm up. Let me just put this in the freezer a minute to firm up. I've got some already made earlier. So I'm going to put some of this yeah. in the fridge. I mean, a couple of comments about people looking for orders. The best thing to do with regards to orders is email info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud.com uh, with your order number and it'll be Karen or Yin tomorrow will be able to look it up find out where it is um, you'll see here I think it's about someone had ordered on the sick you should definitely have had that by now um, and we'll chase it up and find out what the problem is but uh, please email info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud.com and then we'll be able to ch chase it up tomorrow um, Obviously, we get way over a thousand comments on here, so if you just you can't if, ask you, if, you, if you just put a comment on the feed here, it's yeah. highly likely we will miss it. We can't answer customer service questions here. We do have a website. Just go there. It tells you on the contact where to answer, where to email, and we'll go there and answer them. But we can't answer them here. Yep, there. Are. Simon's done it here. So email sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com, and then the staff who deal with that, me and John don't know, so we we can't help you. So uh, let me just get a little mixer. Yes, Helen, I did provide the red roses that are behind Carol. Yes, very pleased. Don't know what he's after. It's not my body, is it? <laughs> oh, Karen just said PM or so. Thanks for that, Karen. Pardon? It's okay. 
Right. Yeah, I'll get these on the website tonight as well. So those of you who've watched me before know that I'm not good at um, smoothing my cakes. I go for the rustic style, okay? And this is going to be rustic. I've always done rustic. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> Who else does rustic with me? <laughs> so anybody who's watching for a perfectly smooth cake, you're not going to get it here. I'm very much about rustic. So this butter cream is really soft, so uh, do it well, in the cool somebody kitchen. Somebody else has said they can't get Trex anywhere. Uh, well, we got it from Morrison's and uh, Tesco's. I couldn't find it in Morrison's. And yeah, you, well, you, thought I, you just thought I couldn't be bothered looking. I well, know you that did. was you looking. Yeah, I did. I think you couldn't be bothered looking. But that's you, that's you looking. I've not sent Karen in to confirm whether it's in there. But she went to Morrison's. Karen went to Morrison's at um, Denton, a local one, but normally she goes to the one at work. So I'll get us to pop in there and see if it is there. The thing is, John's a man, isn't he? You know what men do? They don't really look much further than what they have to. It's near the butter. Yeah. I told him that. Yeah. And I did look. Yeah. Was, was, did you see the space on the shelf? No, no, no. And I asked someone and they didn't know either. No, it's not. Who did you ask? Another bloke? No, it was a lady. <laughs> don't be giving me that. I did. Yeah. I wanted to find it because I knew I was going to have to go somewhere else if I didn't. <laughs> and that's just double the pain. So I'm actually going to bring my frosting up to the top as well because I don't want any smooth edges. For the effect that I'm looking for. And Tesco sell it apparently. Tesco's do, I buy it from Tesco's online. Yeah. I'm sure Sainsbury sells it as well. I'm sure they sell it everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure they do. It's just not, it's not always with the butter butter. It's on that aisle, but it's never where you think it is. So it's just... It's hidden. To... It's like that far away from the butter. Yeah, it's like not far away. Four, four feet away. Yeah. From the <laughs> it's got to be there, John, because Simon's sticking up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't been in a supermarket in years. Yeah, well, I don't mean to be. You go. <laughs> but I do buy it online. Geraldine, you'll you'll be muted. <laughs> What's she saying? She's mentioning that place we said we weren't going to mention. <laughs> she likes that place. I reckon she's going to put that on her holiday list. Don't you'll be so really disappointed. <laughs> what, Papua New Guinea? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a shortage of treks according to Asda. Oh, is it? Oh. See? Why would there be a shortage of tricks? Maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's to do all my lives. Maybe they don't make it in this country. <laughs> hey? Maybe it comes from Europe. It comes from Europe. In yeah. and customs for no, three no, weeks. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a look on the package where it's made. Yeah, Leslie said, you sign, you need to go then. What? So, for the shopping. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's in Sainsbury's near the pastry. Yeah, I think it is near the pastry. It's not near the it's near the butter, but not with the butter. Oh, it's with the butter in Morrison's. Oh, is it? Yeah, in the, the slide. Karen was saying it was with the butter in Morrison's. Trex margarine butter. It's all there, you know. Right, so that's all we're doing here now. Oof. From the from the comments, tracks is not that easily found at the moment. 
So I'm not going for a smooth top. You'll understand when I come to do my cake why we're not. And I never do a smooth top anyhow. And I never do a smooth crumb coat as you're all aware. Does it crust over? Um, it does, but not like buttercream. So it does go firm. It does have to go in the fridge, this. So, but the thing is that you can slice through it nicely. And when you make the Swiss meringue buttercream, you can slice through it nicely. So I'm just going to put this in the freezer. Have a little clean up a minute. And then we'll get the other bits out that we're going to do. Yeah. Right, let's get this in the freezer. I've no idea what this cake is going to look like. <laughs> There's a surprise. Right. Uh, I'm going to put this. So that can go there. That can go there. Let's have a little clean up a minute. Get all this lot out of the way. Yeah, so we'll put the new piping bags on the website. So if you want them for Ollie the Chalk, now I've not used them for buttercream yet, but to be fair, they're going to be fine for buttercream. But for the Swiss meringue buttercream, it's lovely. Yeah, we're definitely winging it tonight. We are winging it, we are winging it. They know, they know. I don't fit to them. Yes, Linda, we have, I can see your comment. Um, did you put something on before? Apologies, I, I have missed comments, but we've got nearly 500 people watching. The feed is going pretty quick and, and probably quite slow. Not being, uh, not being used to being on comments. On so Tuesday. If I, if I have missed a comment, yeah. apologies. And if you put your question up again, I will try harder. I know um, some of you, uh, we have a lot of comments on our thing on our lives and um, I know on Tuesday Karen was in the buttercream flowers reading the comments in there and then I had a look on the on this page and there was over 2,000 comments so I mean you can't possibly read out 2,000 comments nor see them it goes really fast just have a try you're watching the comments now go on try and read them out sit there in your room your husband's I think you've gone bonkers but just sit there and start reading out comments and wait for an answer right that's done, that's done, that's done. What butter do you normally use when you're doing buttercream? I normally use Tesco's or Morrison's Cheap Value Butter. That's what I normally use. So where is this made? This is... It's made for Princess Limited. And it's made in the Netherlands. There we go. There we go. It's probably a big load of it stuck at customs. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we now know the problem. Right, okay. Who's on comments tonight? I don't know this voice. <laughs> Who's saying that? It's John from Papua New Guinea. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so we're going to use the Wonder Dust. <laughs> so mine aren't labelled up, but we're going to use four of the Wonder Dust. I'm going to just wait for my cake just to firm up a little bit. So yes, we do, we do plan to deliver to Ireland. We've just got ongoing problems at the minute basically sending anything out of the UK to Europe. So we're just not, not sending at the moment. But if you're in Northern Ireland or you have somebody in Northern Ireland who could receive a parcel for you, um, then if you do that, we've got quite a few people who are doing that. Mm -hmm. um, but I know not everybody is close to the border and not everybody has someone in Northern Ireland to receive mm -hmm. either. But yeah. we hope to be able to sell to send to Ireland well, hopefully in the next month or so. Yeah. When, when DPD say that they can. Yeah. It's DPD who stopped it all, and I don't blame them. Basically, what's happened is with customs, it's so full. Customs at the moment, they can't get any more stuff in. And I think they're more feared of losing stuff. So when they come and pick it up off us, so what happened was the first couple of weeks after Brexit, they were picking it up and it was getting there. And then the backlog started, and then DPD, they pick it up, and I think they scan it, and they just brought it back the next day and just said they're refusing to ship anything until the end of uh, March or until March um, when things have calmed down. So until all that's sorted out. So we're going to use the new Wonder Dust. Who's bought the Wonder Dust then? So we're going to use these four colours 
on my little idea. Just have to hope it works. Oh, your lid's not on. I know. I know. Let's go on. That's because I was playing before. So we're going to do that. So I'm just waiting for my cake to freeze over a little minute. And then I'm going to put my brush strokes on. And then we're going to put it in the fridge again. And then we'll get it out and then we're going to paint it. Okay. And then we're going to decorate. I think I've got some more buttercream. I think I have. Hope so. So then we're going to, we're going to brush, uh, we're going to brush it on. Oh yeah, it's in the fridge, isn't it? Right. So uh, how long do you think that's been in the fridge then? I feel under pressure. Freezer. Which bit? The cake you just put in the freezer. Yeah. We're also going to use these um, new sprinkles, this new colour. So this is the vintage gold. These are lovely. These are um, chocolate balls. So they, they look shiny and hard, but they're not. And um, you know, like I like to do one for, take one for the team. Tastes like more teas. Let's get try one, John. You got him. Oh, his face lit up then. So we've got some nice red ones. We've got hot pink. Now go to the other head, Simon. So we've got hot pink, red. These are chocolate. So they're just like Maltesers. They don't hurt your teeth. These ones, these are the Drage Pearls. So they're in stock. These are a bit firmer, these. These, are, these are, do crunch a little bit more. And then we've got two more sprinkles in. This is the Summer Sprinkles. So we've got here... Uh, pastel summer and tropical Miami. So the tropical Miami. So the tropical Miami has got the green rods in and loads of lovely sprinkles in there. It's got um, flamingos. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got pineapples and flamingos in. And this one's got butterflies in. A summer one. Oh Sammy, you don't have to take notice. You when you take pictures, don't you? I have, hey? to, I have to look at them, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I have to look at them, but I still don't take any notice. So, <laughs> right, I have to look at them this big on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get my cake. Um, did I get a small palette knife? No, I didn't. Apparently, Trex is made in Rotterdam. That's what I just said. Oh, have you said that? Yeah. I said Netherlands, yeah. I said Rotterdam, Netherlands. Did you? Yeah. I just read it out of the packet. Yeah. Where were you? Yeah, where were you? Not paying attention, John. Clearly not paying attention. <laughs> Simon, you're quiet tonight. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed he's had no abuse since he's had his pink beard? It's, I thought it was because John was there. No, since he's had his pink beard, I've actually become a lot calmer where Simon's concerned. So Simon, come and show him the pink beard. Because they missed it. You know. hey? yeah. Come on. Faded a little bit, but it still looks better Faded. than what it was. Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, now John has to show his hair, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, me Even and Simon, everyone, That's me not and very nice, John. There's no <laughs> court for that. <laughs> Simon, and his beard, Simon and his beard and I do not get on. Well, apparently, like apparently you, you said Netherlands, not Rotterdam. Yeah, I heard you say Netherlands. Did I not say Rotterdam? It's actually on the packaging. Alright. Thank you for that, Sarah. I thought I did. Who was that? Is that Sarah Ruffs that dobbing me in? Which one was that? Not Sarah, Sarah who? Sir. Right, I'm going to have to sit down now. So. Love it, Simon. Oh, yes, nice John. So since, he's had a be so since he's had a pink beard, I've been far nicer to him. In fact, he doesn't know what to do with himself. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to spread up some strokes. I know some of you will be wondering, what the hell is she doing now? Yeah, 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 with both of us. Um, can you see that on the camera there, Simon? Or do you need to adjust your camera? Um, do you want to show it better than that? I think yeah. That, yeah. I need to get it there, please, John. Mm -hmm. I think people are putting in the, the lyrics to that, what's that song, Rotterdam? Oh, yeah, I love that song. Is it... Um, Oh God, who was he used to sing? I used to listen to him. There's a lady in it the beautiful sings. Beautiful South, I think. Is Pardon? It? Is it the Beautiful South? Beautiful South, yeah. that's it, yeah. Rome. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just doing some very easy brush strokes. 
your beard matches the pink board now. So yeah. See, that's why I'm so nice to him. I've stopped abusing him. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's so used to me coming in, giving him a hard time about the uh, ginger green orange beard that he's had. Or whatever dreadful colour he has normally. Plus he trimmed it all. I was laughing with him because this week he came in and I went, oh my God, it looks great, Simon. Now you've got rid of all that C-R-A-P off your face. And he went, Carol, that's facial hair. It was worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop dubbing me in. <laughs> so, how's our strokes? So I'm just thickening them up, up a bit. Right, okay. Are you doing what's called palette painting? Yes. Don't know what I'm doing. It's going back in the fridge for a minute. Not quite sure what I'm doing, I'm just looking about at the moment. I've got to be honest, I forgot I had a live tonight. I thought it was Rachel Hannah doing a live. <laughs> so there I am at work and then I suddenly realised that no, she isn't doing a live tonight, it's me. So I've shot in here, I phoned Carrie to get some cakes out of the freezer quick. So she got everything out for me and I've shot in here and this is just uh, what I'm thinking about doing. I don't even know if it's going to work. It's just my usual winging it thing, scissors. Yeah. You show them what you're trying to do. I don't. Oh, sure. Right. So who's up for descending on sugar and crumbs for a massive party when we all can? Take over the premiere in. Yeah, yeah, who's doing that? Geraldine Allen. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? A few of you have asked how we're going to do classes back in the sugar and crumbs kitchen again. We won't be doing classes again. Um, all the classes will be online. I think they're much better. I think you enjoy them much better as well. I know it's nice to come out for the day out, but by the time you've had the day out, you've had the drive here, the overnight stay, the cost of your accommodation, your food, then you're here, then you drive back, you're all exhausted, and then you forget you've got no reference to anything. Then you forget what it, what it was that you was doing. But we did say we might do some demo mornings. We're demo definitely up. doing demo days, not mornings. We're definitely doing demo days. And we're going to do them once a month when everything's safe. And what we'll do is, I'll do a dem every month and I'll get in a guest. So one will do the morning session and one will do the afternoon. So if the guest wants to do the morning, I'll do the afternoon session. So you come for the day and have a great time. Have a walk around our warehouse. Have a tea and a coffee with us. That's Lincoln on the move again. Right, let me get my cake. So I have to keep popping it in the freezer because it's quite firm this. So remember what I said, I didn't actually want this, I don't want this effect um, smooth. Can you hear him? That's him on his, uh, on his bed scratching, getting himself all lovely and comfy. Is Chip still with him, John? Yeah, yeah he's I've moved off because he's... That Lincoln's being a pest. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. Okay. Hello, Chippy. What's Lincoln doing? Is he beating you up there? So we've just got to wait for a couple of minutes for that. It's only for a few minutes, just why it firms up. So ask John any questions that you want to ask. Um, but before you do that... <laughs> <laughs> anything you like. Anything you like, John. That's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to put some dust in here, okay. So this is what I was using before, it's just dried out, so I'm just going to pop some more dust in. So this is our new Wonder Dust. Who's used them so far? So uh, a couple of clean brushes. They are lovely, aren't they? To be fair, there has been quite a few comments earlier about people using them and really liking them. Yeah. And they're reasonably priced, aren't they? Aren't they a good price? So, uh, we've only got the five colours at the moment. So we're having some more colours made.
yeah, the online classes, when you do the online class, uh, you get access to a private Facebook group, and that's where the class is done in. And then you have basically, basically well, unlimited access to it then after the event, so you can go back and watch it as many times as you want or watch a bit at a time. Yeah. So I'm just adding a little bit of rejuvenator in there. I'll loosen it up as we go. So I've got three cakes to give away tomorrow. Two big wedding cakes. Two big wedding cakes and this one. Right, so I think we'll be ready to go. Right. Can you use them to brush on chocolate? Yes, you can. You can. We've been using and them and on I think, I think Karen did some last week and they look great. She's doing it again tomorrow. And again tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm just going to sit down. I'm hoping I'll give this enough time to firm up because you know we're doing everything at speed. Oh, dear me. So I'm just praying that everything is. Uh, there we go. How many more colours will the wonder dust come in? I don't oh, We don't know yet. We're still deciding. We don't want loads of golds, if I'm really honest. I think we've made the decision, haven't we, John? Not to have loads of golds. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Live for the first time. So all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of bling with these here. Oh. So I'm just playing. Christine's made a good point. She said, why don't you take one of your cakes to the vaccine centre? Because they're all doing great jobs. Actually, I could. Yeah, I could. that's yeah, a good well idea. Done. I haven't actually thought of that. No, I hadn't. Yeah, I will do. So I just wanted to see what this was like painted up on here, you see. So. Does it look any good? You lot tell me what you think. Just something I've thrown together. <laughs> it's thrown together, is it? I'm sure professional day cake decorators look at me and think, what the hell is that Carol McFarlane doing again? <laughs> so, hey. It definitely looks their own. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so. Now you just need to bring it together. Yeah. John's always amazed how they do come together. I might have to do a bit of tidying up, but have faith and I have thrown this together like I say I didn't even know I was doing a live tonight and then I then I did know I was doing a live but I then today I completely forgot about it because I'm thinking Rachel's doing the class I'm thinking she's done the live and then I'm thinking hang on a minute no it's me <laughs> so, <laughs> I nearly freaking died I think it was this afternoon at work and I said to Karen uh, the other Karen at work, Karen Naylor, said to Karen, oh my God, I've got a freaking live to do tonight. I've got to get out. Oh, well, Linda said, if I went in with you to get the job, they'll probably be doing me as well because they like to do couples together. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, that's good then, isn't it? We best go early and park the car. I didn't know that. No, I didn't. We can try it, can't we? Oof. Might have to book it first then. We'll just go in and see. We got half each. Half <laughs> each, yeah. <laughs> I am throwing this together though. I don't know what it about what it's looking like at the moment. What's it look like from a distance? 
Ja. Var Ja. I might have to paint it up a bit more, yeah. Can you use tracks with the nifty nozzles? Um, I think it's too soft for the nifty nozzles. You have to firm it up with a lot more buttercream. And uh, you can use tracks, but there's a different recipe I need to give you for it. So less tracks. Uh, you have to do a combination of treks and butter. Are you sure that's not a swingers party you're thinking about, John? What? What? Where they want to be partners together. <laughs> well, if he knows about that, he knows about it without me. I don't know. Never well, been to comment one. on here. And who was that from? Was that from Geraldine? No. No? Debbie Hargreaves. Oh, was it from Debbie? <laughs> She's a rascal. Um, trying to think what the golden one is here. And Suzanne said it didn't happen for her. She went with her hobby and didn't get done. Well, you never know, do you? You can try, can't we? <laughs> is, is my carer, Carol? Hey. Oh, God help me if that was the case. What? If you were my carer. If I was your carer. <laughs> I think you're my carer, aren't you? I think I might put some more on that. What's that look like so far? Yeah, it looks good. So do you think I should cover the... Um, you think I should cover the white bits or just leave it like that as strokes? Yeah, leave it like that. Yeah, leave you it just like want that. it to finish, no, don't you? No, no, leave it like that. that looks right, good. okay. Right, okay, so. Sometimes you've got to stop colouring in. Eh? Yeah. Just less, what? Less is more. Less yeah. is more. Pardon? Carrying on. Yeah, I am. Is it a volcano cake with the colours? No idea. Just plain. I'm just playing, I don't even know what it's going to look like. I'm getting muddled up with my colours now though. Oh, that's it, yeah, that's that one. Right, I need to clean my brush there. Use that one. What colour have I not used here now? So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Do that. So what colour have I not used there? So it's this one, is it? I think I've mixed one colour in with another one. I'm sure I have. I think I've mixed two golds in. Sorry, girls. I think I've mixed two one of my colours up wrong. Yeah, I have. Campfire cake. A campfire cake. Yeah, that's quite a good. That's quite a good. That's a red there. That's a red. That's quite oh a yeah. Good description, isn't so it? we've done the red there. We've done the bright gold. It's this dark gold here that we need to do. So let me just wash a brush a minute. Can I send an order through Laura for the dusts? You can. You'll have to be quick. There's not many left. It's done, Ryan. Yeah, Yin's answering. Uh, Laura's now on holiday, so you'll have to me message Laura, and Yin will pick it up in the morning. I just wanted to put some uh, metallic on the. On the cake. Oh, there's a program called Brush Strokes. 
Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. What was he called? Arnold? Yeah. Was a little chap in that. Yeah. Remember, I'm not very artistic. I'm just sort of throwing this together for you. Impressionist. You lot can do a lot better than me. I'm just showing you that you can paint on the cake with the colour. That's all I'm doing. And this buttercream is still soft, isn't it? Yeah. Or frosting, rather. So, this is. A red Indian cake. It's another good example. Gold, isn't it? That's uh, what I've no. up with. Arnold was in different strokes. Ah, he was in different strokes, yes. It was Jacko in brush strokes. Mm. I remember that as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Yeah. I used to like both of those programs. I did. Right. So there we go. So that's on there. Let's put these on. I don't know whether you like this or not, actually. Yeah, you could you could paint on sugar paste the same way, can't you? Yeah, of course you can. I just wanted to show you that the colours you can paint on them. I'm not showing you that I'm any amazing cake artist because I'm not, but I just wanted to show you that you can add a little bit of bling on them there. So we're just going to pop a bauble. We'll pop a bauble there. We'll pop a bauble on that side. I'll we'll pop a bauble here. And then we've got some other baubles. Oh, dear me. What have we got here? Can you mix the, the dust with water instead of um, alcohol? Yeah, we can. We can, we can, we can. I think I'll take another one of these, uh, stick that there. Move that over a bit. Okay. And then we'll pop some chocolate curls on. There we go. That will do, won't it? I'll pick up the bits that we drop. How much are the those uh, chocolate dragies, the large gold balls? Um No, uh, these are the XXL ones, and these are the vintage gold. Okay, and there's my cake. So there's my cake. But the whole thing for tonight was you chuffed. Brilliant. Yeah. Twenty past nine. That's so the, one, yeah. Don't be giving me that. So my whole thing tonight was to show you about making. If you want a really white buttercream, and that it does pipe out in nice swirls. I'm not so good on the smoothing, you know that. And then I just wanted to use the the uh, colours on it really so I don't know what you think whether you like it or not like it so I might just say uh, I don't know whether I should paint it a bit more I think I should paint it a bit more Simon you're the arty one aren't you what would you do with it now do you think it looks okay yeah it looks good. good yeah call it done they sound convincing these two don't they hey can you see if Karen was here she'd be going oh it's great that Carol <laughs> No, it does look good. That's the best one, yeah. Good one. So I might just have a little bit more play with it after we finish. But that's us done. So that's us using whipping it up. Now you can use this with normal but with our normal icing sugar or just plain icing sugar. But if you're using the flavoured icing sugars, but what I want to do is make a really, really light frosting. And to make a really light frosting, we made the Swiss meringue buttercream with Trex, okay? We wanted it white, so we didn't want to have to put any colourings in. So uh, that's another reason why we put treks in as well and then and then it's re so it really makes it pop and then all I want to do is do some brush strokes on there I think I might put a few more brush strokes over the top when we're finished and um, I'll put this in the fridge let it set put a few more brush strokes over the top and then paint them in sort of random colors as well just go over there I'll see 
these two would probably tell me to leave it alone. Tell me what you think. Do you think I should leave it alone? Yeah, they are. They're both nodding their heads, nodding their heads here. But I don't know what you said. Or do you think I should bring some strokes downwards? The, the big gold balls are 9.50. Oh, the 9.50, yeah. A few people put that on. Thank you very right. much. Yeah. In fact, I think I need another gold ball there. Look good for right. a bonfire cake. A bonfire cake? Ooh, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, good. I don't know. Do you think I should do some strokes downwards? Or just leave it alone? Leave it alone. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it like that. Yeah. yeah. I think well, anyhow, try and put more on it. I'll just make it over the top. Look a, like a lot messy. Well, anyhow, it's just to show you don't have to be a perfect cake decorator. You can just have a little bit of bling to your cake, and it just shows that you can paint your gold onto the cakes, and then put them in the fridge. Now, make sure you put this in the fridge when you're using the Swiss meringue buttercream. Make sure you put it into the fridge to firm up, and then bring it out about an hour before you serve it. Okay. Um, it, it can it can stay out it can stay out for the day but not on hot days so like nice cold winter days is fine um, but if you've got central eating on like we have here full blast and we've got the door open now to cool down don't have it in a hot place just keep it nice and cool and your fridge out your cakes actually taste nicer once they've been in the fridge as well yeah right any more comments Sean no we've had a really good audience thank you very much for everybody who has joined us and everybody's joined in Apologies if I've missed any comments, but the comments have been absolutely flying. Yeah, do um, try it, you know, when you sat there in the lounge, do try it. Try shouting out all the comments to your husband and uh, see how many you can get. You, by the time you've read a comment, you've actually missed another 30, 40 comments. So, um, so it is a bit difficult. But uh, don't forget to like and share. Karen is going to be here tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So she's going to do my buttercream flowers class because I have to be in work tomorrow. So she's going to do that. She's going to do chocolate um, moulding with you tomorrow. Easter bunny, Easter eggs. Okay, she's going to luster them with the Wonderlust as well. So you've got that tomorrow. Wednesday, Karen is making cupcake bouquet bundles. Uh, Thursday, we're back in here with the children. Uh, Thursday afternoon. Oh, don't forget Tracy Mann's on tomorrow night at half past six. She's back on, on at half past 11 on Thursday morning. I'm in with the kids Thursday afternoon. Thursday night uh, is our Laura. And I'm hoping Laura's managed to make nougat with the whipping it up. So that's the challenge I've given her this week. Whether she succeeds or not, we don't know. We'll have to wait. So uh, she hasn't updated me yet, but she's going to have a go at making that. Otherwise, she'll be in making something else. And Friday, it's Karen in the kitchen. We've no class on this week. We've only got the one on, haven't we? Next yeah. week, we've got plenty of classes on. Yeah. So good. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Simon. Well, thank you. Thanks, John. Have you enjoyed yourself, John? I have. <laughs> and thank you. And I hope you do like this, because I don't feel that confident. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Anyhow, thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you.